Several people will come and see you the morning after the procedure. The nurse consultant and pharmacist do a ward round where they review all the patients who have had angioplasties. We make sure that you've understood exactly what's happened to you. We'll check your ECG. You need to have a few blood tests done and then providing the results of these tests are okay, you would be able to go home, usually by lunchtime. After the procedure, we'll give you a card detailing what stent we've put in and how long you need to take your clopidogrel for. It's important you carry the card with you and continue the clopidogrel for the length of course as advised. Um, it's also important that you continue to take the rest of your medication as a lot of it has roles in preventing further problems. So continue to get repeat prescriptions from your GP. The day after your procedure, we'll come and see you on the ward and we'll come and talk to you about your procedure, um, things that you can do and can't do when you go home, basically talking to you about lifestyle changes and risk factors and also about when you can return to work and also we'll be discussing driving. Usually after an elective angioplasty, it's about a week before you can drive and we just advise you to, to, to talk to your insurance company so that they know you've had your procedure but you don't need to inform the DVLA. You should be able to go home um, the following morning of your procedure. I'll be giving you a letter um, which explains um, everything you've had done and that you need to go and see your GP within two weeks of following the procedure. We'll also be giving you a clopidogrel card that will tell you how long you need to be on the clopidogrel, um, an angioseal card as well. You'll be able to ask us any questions you can think of and then you'll be able to go home with your family.